Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tisha. And today's video is going to be a good one. It's going to be some quick little mini hauls on some makeup I got from BoxyCharm, a little tiny Sephora order. I finally got some candles from Aldi because I went shopping on a Wednesday and I was like, oh, there's like tons and tons and tons of cases of candles. And I even had a little Target haul. Um, I'm not going to show you like the groceries and stuff, you know, you don't want to see that, but I just pulled the candles. I'm going to do that next. I just want to show you a couple of things I got. I think most of you, if you've been here, you know that even when I say I'm going to be good, being good sometimes is just ordering one thing. If you're with me, please give me a like and please leave me a comment down below. But you know, when you get a deal, sometimes even if it's like, I'm going to be good, you're like, but I'll never get this deal again. That's why we're here today, okay? No judgment, I know y'all love me, or at least you tell me in the comments, which I appreciate so much. So we're gonna jump right in. So BoxyCharm, as you know, was something I wanted to get back into. I really love doing it. I did it for a long time. I built up a makeup collection that is good enough for a makeup artist or a YouTuber that has like 50,000 followers, but you know, that's okay. Um, It's something I really like to do, something I really like to try to do better. I, you know, get, People ask me for tips and stuff. That's super cool. It's just an, a hobby. I definitely am no way someone that feels like they're good at makeup, but I am an enthusiast. I do love things. And so um, I did cancel one of the boxy terms. I just wasn't getting the good, good stuff, the stuff that the influencers are getting. I know that sounds so petty, but I just decided I didn't need it. I was just going to be good with one. So this month I do have premium coming, but I did order a palette from the box that I didn't, I wouldn't get. And so this is the ABH Anastasia of Beverly Hills, Nervina. Nervina's her daughter. So this is like a sister company. And this is a collection. This is volume three. So I think a volume one is coming in my um, box. And as you guys know, I have to burn all this stuff before. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, that's our joke in the comments. Um, So I gotta burn all these boxes, but this palette was originally like 60 bucks and you could buy it in the sale for 20. I wanted these palettes. Um, these are just really fun for me to try to play with some color. Look at all that. You better yell at me if you don't see me in green eyeshadow soon. Look at all that color. I don't know. Something about this just makes me happy. I just want to play in there and see if I can come up with some fun looks. I've been seeing some really neat, like, um, new ways to apply eyeshadow and things, Instagram, TikTok. So I might try some of that with this palette. And again, makeup washes off. It's not that big of a deal, but you better yell at me if you don't see me in some green, some hot orange, but isn't this beautiful? I couldn't justify the $60 price point because I am just a neutral basic colored girl, but I wanted to play with this. And so for like 20 bucks, I thought no big deal. So I'm really happy to have this. Isn't this packaging super cute too with the butterflies all cut out? These have been out for quite a while, so nothing new, but I do enjoy that BoxyCharm, I'm gonna break it. You're gonna watch me break it. I do enjoy that BoxyCharm gives us that option to get a good deal on it. The only other thing I picked up, which you guys have seen, I have usually like a haul. What I picked up didn't even justify its own video. So I grabbed a Lunar Beauty lip gloss. I haven't got to try anything but eyeshadows from Lunar Beauty. And you guys know, I'm pretty obsessed with Manny MUA and his packaging. Like look at even the inside of the carton. Do you see that? It's got like a little constellation moment. So cute. But this was on sale. Um, I think they did like a pride collaboration or whatever with some influencers. So it's like that orange color. So that's fun. But I think with it just being lip gloss, no big deal. And I just heard that it smells nice. Um, the, the quality of his lip gloss is not sticky and it really helps your lipstick. So I do wear more gloss. Um, I mean, I wear lipstick sometimes in the videos, but I just really wanted to own this. And this is like packaging I can't throw away. So there's that. But yeah, I'm excited to have this. I think it was like $9, so not too bad. I think I did really good for add-ons. However, um, have you guys ever been just like sitting around bored, like having a couple drinks and all of a sudden you stumble upon a site and you don't remember ordering stuff, but you didn't have that many drinks to say that like it was the drinks fault? That's what happened here. I was just having a couple drinks on the 4th of July weekend and you know, Sephora yelled at me and said, hey girl, we're having a sale. And I was like, okay. And then I got a notification that something was shipping and I was like, what'd I do? But I didn't do too bad. I just, I did two small orders, but that was the truth. You guys probably think I have a problem. I swear to you, I don't. I'm just saying that like, I don't even remember ordering. I remember looking, but I was like, I hit order, go me. 
So I had talked about this before, I know, that I said that sometimes Naked Palettes, Urban Decay, Naked Palettes will go over half off on Sephora, sometimes Ulta, but on the Urban Decay website. I wasn't looking for it, but I wanted this purple palette when I could get it for the $24. Well, I did it over the 4th of July. So here is a box, just a view of like the palette and everything. I probably won't keep this packaging, but it is super cute. So the Ultraviolet came out like after the Honey but before the Wild Wild West, and I'm not sure. Oh, and the Reloaded. And like, it was, it had mixed reviews. I feel like that's the best way to say it. Not bad reviews. I feel like per people wanted it to be something else. And all I wanted it was just to be on sale. So I knew I was going to get it at some point. But yeah, the packaging's cute. I have to give it a second here. Um, and then it's just mostly purples and neutrals. So again, I can stay down here all day long and then just throw in a pop of color and I will be happy. This shade here is really interesting. It's called Lucid and it's like a, it really intensifies the look. It's like a really duochrome shifty guy. Look at, that's pretty. So I feel like I'm going to really have fun playing with this. I got it for half off and I also had like a $10 credit. Okay, I'm not even justifying. There's something wrong with me. And then on that order... I also found this Hourglass Scattered Light Set, and I'm gonna set this aside for Christmas, and I think I'm gonna just keep one and split it up as a gift, so I'm not gonna swatch everything for you. But this is something that like I've talked about with some makeup friends, and they were like, oh, it's so pretty, but it's Hourglass. So these are usually like over $30 a piece, and I got the whole set for like 20 something. So that was a good deal, right? But these, this was their Christmas collection. It comes with three shades. Um, I can tell you the shades, they are, um, foil, ray, and molten. So I know molten is this bronze. This must be foil. And then the champagne gold is must be ray. So I will bring these in another video. I just don't, we haven't decided like who's going to take what, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. And I just love that for like the holidays. So you guys can see them a little bit closer, the colors like glitter. I mean, I'm wearing a little bit of glitter today. You can't really tell. These are really natural. I mean, hourglass powders are very, very like you know, very highly talked about here for good reason. They are a step above and so are these glitters. So I did grab this for that clearance price. This was in the clearance section and I had a few seltzers, you know. And then um, with that came a free little um, Rare Beauty lip gloss and it's like with gratitude dewy lip balm. And this is actually a pretty good size for like, you know, you get those little freebies if you shop at Sephora, you got know. But this is like a good size and like so I'm just gonna see if it has any color. Yeah, it's like a nice like nude gloss. So I'm gonna literally leave this out and put it on for the daily. So that was exciting, that was free. And then I think it was probably Leah Janae. She had posted about this set and I had already placed this order. And this was $45 and this is what I used my $10 off on. So. Like this order with the palette and these came to like 45 and then this I got for like 35 because I had that $10 credit. Anyway, you guys want a budgeting glass? I don't know. Don't listen to me. But this kit is really great. It's called the Sephora Favorites Fresh Face Refresh. I used to love getting Sephora Favorites kits because you get, this is $148 for the price of 45 I mean, that's a really good steal. You can find these during the Sephora sales a lot, so then you're getting 20% off. I save up my credit card rewards, so it's just like $10 right off the top. Sometimes you can do even like cash in points and get that, but it's like cashing in $500 of the points for $10 off is like painful. Back to this. So this is, it has one, two, three, four full size products, and then one, two, three, five sample size. And it's basically a full kit to create um, like an effortless, no makeup makeup look. I liked the bag. I realized when I went home that I just have a ton of tiny bags. So I wanted something like this that like I could throw like, you know, extra stuff into and see it. So we're going to just jump right in and do this super quick. So the first product that it comes with is this Patrick Ta. Um, so you get the bag and then you get this Patrick Ta. It's a brow wax and this is shaping wax in clear. So I sometimes will use a product like this. Um, and I really just enjoy that you get a Patrick Ta brush in this kit for free. Um, so, you know, you pick up the product and then you can spool it through your brows and like you can use it to make those like feathered brows. But I just use this to tame down my grandpa brows. But this is full size product. And again, if I would have bought just this, I would have spent more money than this whole kit. So 
I'm gonna justify it the whole time. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Setting Spray, party all night, stay all day. I've heard pretty good things about this. I've never tried it, would have never tried it if it wasn't in the kit. Let's check out the pump. Wanna watch me spray my face? Ah, okay. Yes, okay, give it to me. It feels nice, it, did I get like a splotch? I don't know, my makeup was like done 12 hours ago, so we're not gonna judge it on that, but that's in here. And then this is a full size, and this was something I did kind of want to try. It's the Iconic London Sheer Bronze, and this is in um, Caramel Glow. So this is a like a cream liquid bronzer. So I'm going to do like, oh, I'm going to do a lot because I have no self-control. And then we're not even going to try to like, I'm just going to show you the color, then I'm wipe it off because we're going to get this everywhere. So it looks really dark, but basically you can shear that out not look crazy. I'm going to literally wipe it off because we're going to have this color on everything. That's who I am as a person. So I just want to try this for cream bronzer. You can use it on your legs, you know, if you're wearing a dress. Um, it's, it's, I wanted to see if it said face and body. It just says sheer bronze, but I know like some people use it like here on your shoulders. You can just use it for, you know, your natural looking bronzer. I'm just saying if you really wanted to, this size is supposedly a full size. I want to see if that's true. It says full size, so that's it. That's full size. Okay. Moving right along. Sorry, calls. Got a call. Let's finish up this little set. So it also comes with some like deluxe sample sizes. So also this roller lash is a, I'm not going to open it because I'm not right, quite ready to use it. It's a um, liquid liner in brown. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, so there's that, and then you get an Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag, which I've really been wanting to try. This is an Ilia um, Balmy Gloss and the shade Tahiti. So let's just take a look at that. See if it has a color. Yeah, it gives off a little, I mean, a tiniest bit of color. So that's nice, and like I said, I'm good with small sizes because I have a lot. Um, so we're going to throw that back in there, the lash bracket back in there. This is a Rare Beauty Primer, which is a nice sample size just to try it to see if it works for your skin. Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer that will make me look like bacon grease. And then this I was most excited about because I wanted some of these and I didn't get it. It's the Breezy, Clean, Breezy Cream Blush in Peach Sunset. So it's just a cream blush, but look how pretty that is. So that is everything that came in this little kit. And then the last little freebie that I got was another little like reward point perk for the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in Pound Cake. And this is really cute. And I'm keeping this package because it tells you right where to stick it. But I wanted to set use it to set my under eyes. Let me get out of this package. It is just a little tiny sample of the powder. But again, and it's got a sticker so I know I can like take this off but yeah like it'll shake out and then I can use just a little brush and like not I don't really bake with makeup but like if I have like a lot going on under my eyes I definitely set it so that is gonna go in here as well so that all came for about 35 bucks which I think was a really good deal I got a lot of like big sizes so I am happy that I did pick up this kit but it was kind of an impulse buy I mean if I'm being honest and we are being honest here so let me clean this all up and then we'll get into the stuff I got today. Okay, I'm back. And if I'm being honest, it's like three hours later and I know I look pretty rough, but I still want to finish this video. So we're going to just let her be living her best life back there. So, um, yeah, it was like three calls and now it's like late at night, but I finally went grocery shopping at Aldi's on Wednesday when they released candles. So that is the next thing I want to show you. They came out with four this week. It's the Huntington Home brand. It's a little soy blend three wick candle. And these wicks look really close together, don't they? I don't know if that's gonna make any difference whatsoever, but I look through like all of the candles and they all look this way. So that's okay. I wanted to try these out. There's been several releases and they've been pretty hyped up and I've just missed out. I work and it's like, the Aldi's is like all the way across town, a good 20 minute drive, even though it's in the same town. It's kind of crazy. So I rarely go try to find the candles, but today I just had time. I need some things for dinner. So I went over there and there were some candles left. So score for me. So there was four candles. There was a rose. I think we all know why that didn't come on with me. 
There was another one that I was kind of intrigued by, but it just smelled really Christmassy to me. It was like a cedar wood or cedar redwood. It had a tree smell. It really wasn't bad. If you're into that, you should check out your Aldi's. But I picked up the two more Tisha friendly scents. So this is Ginger Nectarine and I'm immediately intrigued, but then I'm also, there's something in here I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like that ginger, but the nectarine's really nice. Very refreshing, very light scented, you know, clementine, nectarine, that like citrus scent, but it's not quite orange. It's not pineapple. You can kind of detect it in here. I'm very interested to see what the ginger's going to do burning, but I grabbed this one and I'm going to have that one in my next current burn. And then this one was the one that caught my eye, ice cream s'mores. And it's, it's, these candles are $3.99 by the way. So again, if you have an Aldi's and you have an opportunity to check out these three wicks, that is a steal. Um, most of the reviewers that I watch here, they have hit or miss, but it's just like any of the other companies. Some are like really amazing. Some are just okay. But again, with the wicking, the little chicken legs, that's Shay. Um, and I know my lighting's kind of horrible. The wicks are weird, right? And I looked through tons of candles and they were all like this. Cause I was like, well, maybe it's just one. Then I'm digging through and looking like a crazy person. This one smells good. And I thought, okay, it's probably just going to be like vanilla, right? I don't know. Don't know why I felt that way. But it actually does have a nice ice cream note. And I can really kind of smell a chocolate note. Not so much a graham cracker for like s'mores, but I do smell chocolate. So I'm excited to burn this one. I should have grabbed more than one. But I was trying to be nice. There was only like three of these and like a ton of the rows. So I took one. I had two in my cart and I put one back. Aren't you guys proud of me? So I finally got my hands on some all these candles and I'll be bringing those to the next current burn. And then the last thing I went to Target. Um, we just needed a few like household items. I'm not going to show you like the mouthwash and stuff, but I did grab a couple of exciting things. So look what I got. There was a whole shelf of them. Um, it's the coffee. It's the smoothing coffee and coconut, coconut coffee scrub from OGX. I'm tired. This one you guys know I love. I've already used one up. I love the gentle exfoliation. It's something I can use every day. And then I just really love the scent. I'm going to smell it again. It's so nice in the shower and it's so nice in the morning. So I'm excited that I have that. That will be going into rotation soon. I think I'm going to start working on another project. Use it up. I'm truly close to finishing up the products that I had in my last one. So I will bring that video to you guys too. And then I finally went over to the mix bar section. If you guys check these out at Target, um, here's the deal. They had all the perfumes to test. I liked the Blackberry Tonic the best. This was the only perfume they didn't have. So I went ahead and grabbed the Mist. I like this and I really liked, I was able to layer these in store. So this is Blackberry Tonic and it just has a really interesting like drink note with a Blackberry, kind of maybe a little hint of vanilla, but it's really more tart than anything. So I really like this though, cause it does have a perfume esque to it. It's not just like a fruity body spray, fine fragrance mist. These are $8.99 at Target, but I was very curious about this brand. So this I thought smelled really good with the vanilla bourbon eau de parfum number nine. This is a 1.7 ounce for it was like $20. Not too bad. Um, and this is why I wanted to get back in here and finish this video, even though I look crazy now, but it ran into like dinner and all the things you guys understand. And so I think these two layered on top of each other smell so good. So the blackberry tonic in the mist, or you could switch it around and then the vanilla bourbon and the eau de parfum. And I think this bottle is super cute. I'm interested in getting the other perfume too. So I was really excited to pick those up. I also just wanted to take this out of the packaging because it was really like tightly wrapped and I didn't want to struggle. I grabbed another powder brush. I've been really loving this one. I grabbed from... Sephora. Um, it was like $30, but I got like 30% off of it. Plus the discount plus I had a gift card. You guys know my stories, but I've been loving this for all over the face powder. I'm like a little glowy goblin, um, in the summer. So, you know, natural highlight, if you will, but I really like just taking this with some powder all over to just kind of soak up some oil. So Sonia Kashuk is a brand I don't really know, but these were like $9.99 and let's see if I can get this off. Nope. Hold, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, got it. And so this brush, I thought it wasn't the same, but for 
I thought, you know, that's a good, nice dome top. I'm going to be able to like press in some powder. And that's really what I wanted it for. But isn't that nice? And so they have those, this brand at Target. And now I have another one. So I can use one for bronzer and one for powder. I've been using the same brush for both. And the last thing I grabbed, I've been seeing these. Um, I think TikTok is one of those, like, if it goes on TikTok on Monday, you're not going to be able to find it in stores on Tuesday. And I don't really do too much on TikTok, but I am on there. I just haven't started, like, making videos or anything. I don't know that I even ever will. Anyway, um, so these ink crayons have been viral. There's several people. I think even Michaela has featured them on her channel. So 5 million people saw them. And so um, I couldn't find half the stuff I went there to try to get. I wanted the, the new e.l.f. mascara, a couple other things. They didn't have it, but they did have these in a lot of different colors. And I chose Chasing Dreams. So I'm going to give you just a tiny swatch. I think this will be really pretty for fall. There's a swatch of it. Isn't that pretty? And they did have a ton of nude shades and ton of dark vampy shades, but I just thought that is something that I don't really wear a ton like a berry. So I grabbed that as well. And these were like $6.99, $7.99. So not too bad. So not too bad. Again, this is just a collective haul. Some candles, you know, from a candle girls. This I'm very excited to burn. And then again, some fragrance that isn't Bath and Body Works. Look at me. But if you watch the end, I really do apologize for this bad lighting and the change and all that. And But uh, I really appreciate y'all. Just like I said, let me know if you want to review on any of this stuff or you want any more information and I'll bring that to the channel. And if not, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank you.